Hello, welcome to our Braille training series. This video is going to show you how to input PG offsets and perform user alignments on an expert jet 461 and 661 UF. But first, let's talk about what a PG or print gap offset really is. A PG offset is a predetermined space or gap between the bottom of the print head and the top of the media, or in certain user types, it's the top of the ink buildup like our braille dots or texture. Because the 661 UF has an automatic table height adjustment, these are numerical values that are entered in on the control panel. On the 461 UF, you will need to use three spacers that differ in thickness to manually adjust the table height. Spacer 1 is 1.0 mm thick for user type 2, Spacer 2 is 1.5 mm thick for user type 3, and Spacer 3 is 0.5 mm thick for user type 4. Why do I need an offset? We need an offset because when we are printing extreme textures or buildups like braille dots, we need the extra space between the media and the print head so the ink buildup will not scrape against the bottom of the print head and ruin our media and or damage the print head. A bidirectional user alignment will also need to be performed immediately after we adjust our PG offset on each user type in order to keep high print quality. The 661 and the 461 both have a different process in setting this up. What is a user bidirectional alignment? A user alignment ensures our prints are sharp with crisp edges. It keeps our print quality high. The print head drops ink in both directions as the carriage moves back and forth. When not aligned, ink droplets land in different spots causing fuzzy print quality and potential banding. When properly aligned, our ink droplets land consistently ensuring great print quality while maintaining print speed. We will go over how to do this shortly. Let's quickly go over the four main user types. User type 1 is used during normal printing. Although no print gap is needed, it is still recommended that you verify your alignments to keep high print quality. User type 2 will be used during our braille buildup. We will need a 1.0mm spacer when we're printing on the 461. User type 3 is when we're printing extreme buildups or textures. We will need a 1.5mm spacer when printing on the 461. We normally don't use this for braille, but only for special applications that require massive buildups. And finally, user type 4 is used when we print CMYK on top of our braille buildup. A 0.5mm spacer is used only during the alignment process on this user type and then not needed once printing begins. Let's take a look how to input our PG offsets on the ExpertJet 661. We are now going to put our PG offsets in user types 2 through 4. To do that, press the home key, then right arrow to select your user type. We are going to start with user type 2. Press enter and scroll down to media setting. Press the right arrow again. Now we're going to scroll down to height and press the right arrow. This should display auto. If it does not, change it. Press enter. This will show no print gap. And since this is user type two, we want to set our offset to 1.0 millimeters. To confirm that, go ahead and press enter. We will now press the home key to return to the home menu. We will repeat this process, but this time select user type three. On this user type, we will set the print gap to 1.5 millimeters. Press the enter key to confirm and the home button to return to the home menu. Repeat this process one more time for user type four, but set the PG offset to 0.5 millimeters. After we do our alignments, this is the only user type that we will go back in and remove the offset and change it back to zero. On the 461, this process is accomplished by using spacers to manually set the height of the print gap. But first, let's take a look at how to perform our alignments since the process on both machines are the same. Okay, it is recommended to use any glass vinyl sized 19 inches by 18 inches. We can use this more than once and it will make our alignment pattern easy to read. Start by pressing the up arrow to load the media. Once the media is loaded, Let's start the alignment process by using the Adjust Print. First, press the Home key. Then, right arrow on Setup and right arrow on User Type. This is where we can select our user type to perform our alignment. We are just editing User Type 1 as an example, but if you want to edit User Type 2, this is where you would select that. Now, press the down arrow to Adjust Print. Right arrow to Select. 
And here we are going to press down until we find the rough pattern all. Go ahead and press enter. The machine will now start printing our alignment pattern. The rough pattern all will consist of three lines A through C, and each line will have two sets of patterns, one on the left and one on the right, as seen here. We will be looking at the rectangle boxes, making note of the number below it. We want to make sure that they do not have a gap or a space at the top or the bottom. We want to choose the smoothest rectangle available to us and input that number in the control panel. In this case, box 7 is the best choice. So we will enter that into the control panel for line A and press enter. We need to repeat this process for line B and C, but here on line B, the number of the best box on the left is not the same as the best box on the right. So we're going to choose the number that is the best option of the two. In this example, it's box 7, so we will enter 7 in the control panel. Repeat this one more time for line C. Here on line C, the group on the right's best box is 8. The group on the left's best box is also 8, so let's enter 8 into the control panel. Now that we have completed our rough pattern, let's turn our media around, load it, and complete our fine pattern all. The process is the same, only we need to print out the fine pattern all pattern as shown here. This time, the pattern printed has a left, center, and right group. The process is still the same in that we choose the best box within each row A through C and enter it into the control panel. It is helpful to circle your choices with a marker, then go back and reference your choices while you input them into the control panel. As you can see, we have made our selections, which in this case, they are all box 1, so we will be entering 1 for every line A through C. It is more likely that you will need to make different selections on your own printer. We have now completed our alignments for user type 1. Repeat this process for user types 2, 3, and 4. Now that we have completed our PG offsets and user alignments on the 661, we just have one more step. We need to go back into user type 4, and as stated earlier, we need to set our PG offset back to 0. Our alignments were done with a 0.5mm offset, which is equal to the height of our braille dots. Now anytime we are printing in user type 4, which is color on top of our braille, we should get clean, crisp edges at the bottom of our braille dots. Now let's take a look how to do all this on our 461 UF. Before we get started, you will need to have a 1.0mm spacer for user type 2, which is used for braille buildup, a 1.5mm spacer for user type 3, which we use for extreme buildups, and a 0.5mm spacer for user type 4, which we use to print color on top of our braille buildup. We used a piece of sheet metal about the size of a credit card in various gauges shown. By now you should know how to select a user type. We will be setting up user type 2. Once completed, press the home key to return to home. We can now load our media. It is best to use white gloss material in the size of 19 by 13 inches on the 461 UF. We can now lay our 1mm spacer on top of the media, followed by the table alignment bar that is included with the 461, making sure each of the ends are resting on the thin metal rails just beyond the bed. Turn the table height adjustment wheel to raise the bed until the spacer just makes contact with the alignment bar. We are now ready to perform the user type 2 adjust print alignments. Please refer back to the 4 minute and 15 second mark of this video to see how this is done as the process is the same on the 661. We will repeat this process for user type 3, only using our 1.5mm spacer. Here, we move on to our user alignments referencing the alignment process earlier in the video. Finally, we need to set our user type to user type 4. Repeat the same process as user types 2 and 3, only this time we will be using our 0.5mm spacer. Again, remember to perform your alignments and we will be ready to print. Now let's take a quick look how to choose our user type when we are printing braille signage. When printing a basic braille sign, we will either be starting out in user type 1 or 2. 
In this example, we are starting out in user type 2 since we are printing the braille build up first. Layer media on the bed. Then apply your 1.0mm spacer on top along with the height adjustment bar. Raise the bed to the proper height and send your print. This is what your braille buildup should look like. We now want to print black over the top of this braille buildup, so we need to select user type 4. In this user type, we no longer need the 0.5mm spacer because our braille is our spacer. We will use the table height adjustment bar and bring the bed up just until the ink buildup makes contact with the bar. We can now send our next print. It is imperative not to move the media during this process to keep your artwork lined up. If you have a vacuum table, keep it on. If not, make sure to use your supplied sticky mat to keep everything in place. And this is how our sign should end up looking. This is just another look at the printing process and when to use the correct spacers. Remember we started off in user type 2 because we started off with our buildup. However, if we wanted to print a CMYK image first, we would start in user type 1. Once you complete your braille buildup, you can no longer print in user type 1 or damage to your print head may occur. And this as a reference is the difference between the user type 3 extreme buildup compared to normal braille buildup. If doing any extreme buildups or textures, remember to select user type 3 and use a 1.5mm spacer. Thank you for watching. We hope you have learned how to successfully set up your printer for printing braille, but should you have any other questions, please contact your authorized MUTO reseller.